Hello, everybody. It's Ryan from Pi Records, and I'm here with Noah from The Pretty Flowers. How are you doing, Noah? Hey, Ryan. I'm uh, doing well. Thank you. Great. Um, so you guys are in Los Angeles. Um, how, how are things going uh, out there as far as getting together to play, uh, playing shows? Uh, are you able to get to, together? Have you, have you gotten together? Yeah, we have. Um, there was a very long break uh, uh, where we were not, uh, I mean, over COVID, where we were not practicing or working on any new, we were not getting together in any real capacity. Um, and then we got together in, I think, March. We got together of, of 2021. We got together to, um, let's see, I think we filmed a video for uh, a single we put out called Bucket Beach. And then we were rehearsing for um, a show that we uh, we did a live stream uh, at uh, a bar in LA called uh, Redwood Bar. And um, we practiced for that. And the ball's kind of been rolling since then. We've we've just been oh, you know, taking precautions and every, but we've, um, yeah, we've, we've played some shows and uh, mostly uh, all outdoor shows. And then um, except for the, um, the Redwood Bar show was was indoors, but there was no uh, it, there was no audience at the at the time, so it was it was just okay. a strictly live stream thing. But yeah, we're playing shows, and um, we're actually gonna get back into the studio uh, next. Uh, what are, are in October? We're we're getting into the studio again. So awesome, awesome. So did you <laughs> did you use the the time during? Uh... The lockdown the, during the pandemic to write to write your new record. So we had recorded. Um, let's see, in, in at the end of 2019, we'd kind of recorded most of what we thought was going to be the next record, and we, we had gone into a studio called Studio Red, which um, uh, is run by our friend Adam Lassis, and we had kind of recorded 12. 13 so I can't remember exactly how many songs um but we had recorded pretty much an album's worth of material um but we hadn't done vocals on it um and we so we basically just did bed tracks for that uh and then um COVID hit and we still hadn't done any any vocals for for the record uh and then we finally got around to doing vocals in at, at the at end of last of end of 2020 um and um we had written or uh we'd also written some more more songs for the um that we kind of want to be on the on the next record now so we're um we recorded some stuff uh we recorded a few songs kind of separately uh and um our guitar player jake uh, is also like an engineer and he's, he's, he mixes our music and, and he's a genius in that capacity as well. And he, uh, so we recorded some singles and he, uh, all separately. And then he kind of made them into real, real songs together. Cool. Cool. I, are you going to be, yeah. uh, working with Chris from Dirt Cult, uh, coming up? Uh, I hope so. Uh, we, we kind of, um, I, 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 I hope uh, I hope we can, but we don't have a whole we don't have like a full album to just be like here. Can you put this out, or do you want to put this out yet? We're just kind yeah. of um, he's heard some stuff, and I think he's into it. But um, I, I I hope he'll put it out. <laughs> but with 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 how um, the delays with uh, LP pressing, like with with yeah. pressing plants and everything, it's all uh, it's a really difficult thing. And it's like even if we we have a completed record, it's like then then we probably have to wait like nine months in order to get uh yeah. in order for vinyl to get pressed too so i mean that's a super long time that um yeah wasn't really even a consideration a couple years ago but yeah. yeah i hope to work with chris chris is chris is awesome we we chat a lot yeah i, I love to, uh talking to him i love his bands on on his roster mm -hmm. uh He's got a he's got a really good uh, not only does he have a good ear but he has a good uh, eye for for good for good personalities and just good people. 
Yeah. Yeah, he's a, I, I've uh, hung out with him a couple times and he's he's just a really sweet guy. Really. Yeah, definitely. Really like, it, like him a lot. Uh, so I want to talk to you about why trains crash. Um, sure. Did that come out in 2018? Yes, it did. That that record, when I listened to it, I have to say, um, without bullshitting you, I was blown away. Uh-huh. Um, oh, thank you so much. Um, the reason being, uh, I was really into this band 20 years ago. I saw them in Philadelphia. They were called Ann Summers. And I'm not even sure where they're from, but the one tune on your record sounded just like, just like them. Uh, really? Yeah. And, uh, they, they were, they were, I mean, they were, they, they sounded like you. <laughs> it was just, wow. uh, <laughs> And I, I've been hard pressed to find. I mean, I found their CDs. Like I think I got them for like mm-hmm. fifty cents or something like that. Because um, they didn't, they weren't around very long. Uh, but they were just mm-hmm. one of those bands that went on tour and then you never heard from them again. But uh-huh. they were so great. Were they, were they uh, an American band or? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. They're just a trio. Um, but the, when I first listened to you, I was like, "Oh my God, this sounds like Ann Summers. It's so great!" Uh, so oh, I, was, cool. I was totally, I was totally all the way in. Thank you so much. D- did you hear the record, um, like, kind of when it came out, or kind of like a l- little later on, or well, our record? I mean, what what happened was um, I, I talked to Chris about doing some interviews with some of his bands, and he uh-huh. and he gave me your number or your, your email. Oh, cool. So uh-huh. when I saw the name, I went and listened to it. So that was a couple months ago, whenever we, you and I talked last. Um, yeah. So I went and listened to it then. And uh, I, I, I dug the artwork. I dug the music right away. And it was kind of like, Oh, I'm going to be really, really excited. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to blow this opportunity. Um, so today when our wires got crossed a little bit, I was like, Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Yeah, I'm t- I'm 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 usually a pretty flexible person, so happy to happy to make it work. Very cool. So so tell me uh, about what some of your influences are. It, it, I I definitely see punk rock, but it's also like a like a mm-hmm. mixture of garage in there too, right? Yeah, there's there's some garage. Um, I, I, my my influences are kind of all all over the place and i um i mean i grew up in the san francisco bay area with like lookout records was kind of probably my first like real music scene that i that i kind of fell into and really uh got attached to and uh really my first music love was uh, was a lot of the lookout records stuff that um and uh and then like I mean, the replacements have always kind of been a huge uh, band uh, for me. And um, I mean, like Modern Lovers and uh, just um, REM and just a, a, a lot of like 80s college indie rock stuff is, is, is really the stuff that I gravitated to kind of growing up and Sonic Youth and that kind of like more more recently last few years it's i've just i i've really gotten into like uh, um like british 80s college or uh, indie rock stuff like um julian cope and teardrop explodes and echo and the bunny men early echo and the bunny men stuff and um that stuff is really kind of uh it hit me at this point in my life that just in a in a real in a real way very cool so. Uh, Echo and the Bunnymen, uh, pretty rad. <laughs> yeah, they're they're just amazing. <laughs> uh, so, how did you guys get together, and how long have you guys been together as as a as a band? And what what was like the the kind of the catalyst for getting all you you guys together and and saying, oh yeah, this is a really good idea. So, um, it started off. Uh, there, there's been some lineup changes uh over over the years but but since 2018 since like the record um since white trains crash uh uh, since we did like the release show and put that record out that that's been the the steady lineup and it kind of feels like that's that's the lineup that it's always 
going to be, I hope it, it feels, it feels that way. Um, but we, uh, I started the band in, let's see, I think we put out our first seven inch in 2015, 20, uh, 2015, or it was either 2014 or 2015, but, uh, we put out a, um, an EP that was just, uh, recorded at our friend's, uh, house and, um, uh, uh, this guy Jim Saunders, we uh, who's a friend of ours, and just uh, I was able to uh, record this EP for us. And um, we uh, that time the lineup was uh, our drummer Eli Reyes and um, Matt Cowan was on bass, and we were a trio. And um, we had played a bunch of shows as a as a trio, and um, and then we recruited Sam to the band uh, on bass and uh, we were still a trio for a while and we recruited Jake uh, on guitar. Jake was rec actually recorded a lot of the, um, or he recorded the ma vast majority of our album, uh, the Y Trains Crash album. Uh, and he kind of, we were writing a lot of extra guitar parts and, and he, and he, as he was recording, he just had a, we, he, had a bunch of ideas and uh, we were taking a bunch of those um, musical arrangement ideas. And, and then we kind of needed someone to <laughs> kind of needed um, another guitar player to make the, make it, make us live sound kind of like the record. And we were just more than have Jake join the band. And, um, and then Sean joined it, Sean, uh, Sean Johnson joined on drums. He did not, he didn't play on the Y Trains Crash record, but he um, he was in the band when the record was released. And so he's um, like, uh, so then with the four of us, all the all the songs we've written since then um, are really um, contributions of of everybody in the band, and it and it feel just feels like a real um, collaborative um, endeavor. Cool. So we've so yeah since I I'd say since like 2018 we've been a solid uh, a solid unit. Awesome, awesome. Uh, so what are some of the, the the highlights since 2018? Maybe some bands you played with, uh, maybe some some spark in rehearsals that that uh, that you're kind of like oh yeah you know this is going to be a great idea. Huh. Um... Let's see. We um, well, we did a tour in 2019. Um, kind of when Sean joined the band, we uh, uh, we uh, had recorded um, a covers record of like eight songs, and we recorded uh, of kind of songs that we were kind of influenced by, and songs that we just had been playing um, at shows and. But we we just in, uh, incorporated a lot of covers into our into our set, and we just kind of thought that was a good way to kind of have Sean playing, uh, have being able to um, have something tangible that Sean has has played on that because uh, he was uh, we were playing all the songs from White Trains Crash, and he didn't drum on all the on on the on the recordings of those, so we wanted to have something that he was actually playing on. Too and so um, uh, and also we were just really excited to be playing uh, in this with this lineup and uh, wanted to just spend a couple of days in the studio recording and we just chose we didn't have a bunch of new songs yet so we just decided to do some covers and uh, we uh, did that at uh, this place called Golden Beat Studios um, uh, with this guy Andrew Schubert. Uh, and uh, he's in a band called Marriage Material, who played with, uh, who's on uh, on Dirt Cult as well. And um, we, that was a really good experience. And um, we toured on that and played, I don't know, like, uh, I want to say like eight or 10 shows just up the West Coast. And um, that was just a really great, um, a great time of just playing live. And we just felt like, um, by the end of the tour, we were just a, a really, uh, we, we were just really solid live band and, uh, everyone was feeling really good about it. Um, and we actually, 
actually a really great uh, show experience was like right before lockdown, we got to go up to, uh, we were invited by um, um, Jason Bebout, who runs um, the uh, Golden Bull up in Oakland. We had, we, we had gone up there, I think it, maybe it was the end of our tour or um, it was an, maybe, I think we had gone up there for a, a, a couple shows uh, to the Bay Area and Jason Bebout from Sam I Am, the singer of Sam I Am, he yeah. was the Golden Bull. And so he uh, liked us and uh, asked us to come up for, um, to open for Sam I Am in February of 2020. And so that was one of, that was the second to last show that we played before lockdown happened. And that was a, that was a really huge, that was a really fun show. It was like sold out show. We got to play with Sam I Am and a, and a, yeah. a couple other really great bands. And Sam, I, growing up in the Bay Area, Sam I Am was just a huge, in, was just a huge band for me. And I just loved, I mean, them and Knapsack and a lot of those Bay Area bands and Jawbreaker. And, you know, there's just, they, yeah. they were just huge for me. So that was just a very, uh, it was just a really cool experience to be able to do that. So I, I think um, th that show in particular uh, kind of, we, we had we had already written a bunch of songs. Um, I, I think that in one way or another just kind of uh, helped with some of the writing and thinking about um, uh, what we want the next record to kind of be like. Very cool. Uh... Yeah, I, I'm totally down with Sam I Am. Like, Soar was like one of those records when I used to play in a band that we always kind of turned to, maybe uh, borrowed some uh -huh. things from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but but sure. uh, those those guys were big time in the early 90s. And uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I could, I could totally see why you guys were so excited to play with them. Um, yeah. I was talking oh. to J J with it, Jason. I was just like, man, I, I remember when you guys were on the, the fucking John Stewart show playing. Uh, I don't, I think it was capsized or something, but he's like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so where can people get your, your record? Do you, do you have a physical copy of the record? Or I know you're yeah. on Bandcamp because that's where I got your, your, your album from. Mm -hmm. So uh, tell our listeners where we, we could get your stuff or how to get a hold of you if you you guys are going to play somewhere. Um, yeah, I think um, sure. Bandcamp is probably the best the best way to order direct or get digital uh, digital copies. I mean, that's better than Spotify or whatever. But everything we've um, I think everything we've released uh, we is on Bandcamp currently. Um, yeah, we, we were kind of looking into maybe putting out another seven inch at some point. Um, for two of the singles we re we released over um, uh, last year uh, that are going to be on the next record, um, Another Way to Lose and The Long Con, we were thinking of doing a seven inch, but it was still just the the, de the delay times of everything was just so <laughs> so insane that we, 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 we didn't do that. But we do have... Um, uh, two seven inches and um and the LP, uh, and then Golden Beats session CD and um, cassette even on the, of that one, um, yeah. And we got a lot of we did this. I just got these uh, these in the mail. These uh, oh, sweet <laughs> these red red these like Red Hot Chili Peppers logo uh, yeah <laughs> parody kind of things. Um, awesome, but yeah, we always throw in lots of stickers and other ephemera <laughs> very cool so uh is there anything else you'd like to talk about or touch on that that we may not have uh spoke about before we sign off um i don't know we're uh, we're just uh going into the we're going into the studio to put it to do um a few to, to record a few other tracks that are going to be on the next record and uh, we're doing that with this guy, Adam Lassus. I can't remember if I mentioned that to you before, but he, um, he's recorded with like, uh, helium and, um, flap your hands, say yeah. And some other, um, 
and so I think he yeah he worked with like PJ Harvey and some some really great uh, some really great artists. Um, so yeah, we're recording with him, um, and uh, I hope to have uh, a record this the next record out uh, early next year, mid next year. I don't know. Well, well, um, we we're, we feel like we're pretty close with it. I mean, we've released um, probably three three singles that are going to be on the record so far. Um, and uh, we're really happy with how things are sounding so far. So, and then, and we're playing, um, we're playing a show on Saturday at um, Highland Park Bowl in LA uh, with our friends, Some Gifts and uh, uh, a band called Niner Niner. And um, yeah, we're doing that. And then I think we're playing in October at, um, this uh, in San Pedro at a uh, this brewery called Brewery West, who's been really supportive of us over the last few years. And um, yeah, that's uh, we're just kind of plugging along and trying to be a, uh, a very active band <laughs> without having to without tour. I, I don't know. We're we're not super interested in touring at the moment, but we are. Uh, I'm sure we will eventually, and um, we're looking. We will looking forward to doing that at some point awesome uh everybody check out their album why trains crash it's awesome i want to thank you noah uh for for accommodating the schedule and uh for talking to us today yeah right thanks for having me really appreciate it very cool so thank you so much and have a great day yep you too take care